Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels today. Today is May the 25th of 2023, and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord this morning that I hope will encourage all who are listening. I would just like to thank all those of you who are commenting on these videos expressing your appreciation for them. I thank you for your prayer support. I thank you for your participation in supporting this ministry to release the word of the Lord. As I prepared this word for release, the Lord brought to my attention that he has been raising up his people to do great exploits to do the works that he has chosen for them in advance to do. And it is important to realize that each one of us has our own individual calling, though we all together share God's purpose. The Lord has given his giftings to his church, the spiritual giftings and so those who have these giftings are required to function in them to accomplish the works of the Lord. The Lord has given the fivefold ministry to edify the body of Christ, but the Lord has also called each one of us to our own unique avenue of expression. Some are called as intercessors. Others are called to help those in need. And others are called to support the work of the church in general. Whatever our calling is, the Lord is encouraging us in this word today that he has chosen us as his vessels to do his good works. This word today is not a lengthy one but I hope its message is clear and that it will bless and encourage those of you listening. This word today is titled Chosen Vessels. I'll begin by reading scripture. Romans 9 verse 21 Or does not the potter have a right over the clay to make from the same lump one vessel for honorable use and another for common use. This scripture verse illustrates that the Lord himself is the one who has called us into the ministries we function in, and it identifies the fact that there are different uses for these vessels, that some vessels are called for more honorable use than others. 2 Corinthians 4, verse 7. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, so that the surpassing greatness of the power will be of God and not from ourselves. This scripture tells us that the great works of God are being done through earthen vessels that God chose to put his treasure in us, and it is not a work of ourselves. 2 Timothy 2 verse 21 Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from these things, he will be a vessel for honor, sanctified, useful to the master, prepared for every good work. Now flee from youthful lusts and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. This scripture verse tells us what our responsibility is in order to be a useful, sanctified, honorable vassal for the Lord's use. We are to pursue the righteousness of God, faith, 
love and peace with a pure heart. I'll begin reading this word. March in and take the land. Do not be satisfied till every enemy is under your feet. Recognize the high calling upon your life to bring down the strongholds, the powers at work in high places. Recognize that this is the day to walk in to take the land, claiming the ground for the Lord. Raise up his banner of love. Declare to the heavenlies that Jesus is Lord and make known his great deeds in the midst of the people. Exalt his name on high. Dance before him, for in this you are dancing upon injustice, crushing the serpent's head. This is the day of deliverance for the people of God, says the Lord. This is the day when they shall enter into the promised land, where every promise of God is appropriated. Those who have entered into this place are partaking of the Father's storehouses of treasure. They are able to function in full capacity. They are flowing in the workings of the Spirit to bring everything into submission at the Lord's feet. They walk in the authority of the risen Lord to accomplish the purposes of God in the earth today. They have been brought into the fullness of the Spirit and are being propelled forth by the power of the Lord to do His bidding. I have sent these into places of darkness. They have been strategically positioned amidst the people to war in the heavenlies for the release of the captives. Every knee shall bow to the Lord, and every tongue shall join in to declare that he reigns. And I have sent my chosen vessels into the midst of the people to take captive every thought, word, and deed that exalts itself above the knowledge of the Lord. I have raised up a standard in the midst of the people, says the Lord, and everything that does not line up with this standard will be brought down. I am bringing my people into holiness, and they shall have no other gods before me. Every idol in the temple will be removed, and a fragrant offering shall rise up unto the throne of God. Every dead work and every false teaching shall be burned up as chaff, and the eyes of the people shall be turned to the Lord." I have sent my servants to prophesy life to the dry bones, and they shall be covered with flesh and rise up into resurrection life. In this word today, the Lord is telling us that he has called us all for the purpose of declaring his lordship in the earth to exalt him, to dance before him, to worship him. For in this we are taking down strongholds. The Lord has given us his authority to trample the enemy underfoot, to pull down every thought and every word that exalts itself above the knowledge of the Lord. The Lord has released his word to us, his prophetic word, that as we prophesy the things of the Lord forth, life will come to dry bones. So whether we are called of the fivefold ministry or whether we are less honorable vessels, we all are called into intercession and into worship and into coming into alignment 
with the standard of the Lord and making known the goodness of God. We are all chosen vessels. I hope this word today encourages you that the Lord is the potter and he is the one who has made us earthen vassals for his purposes, that we are all chosen of him, all vassals of honor, sanctified and useful to the master for the good works he has prepared for us to do. Be blessed and encouraged on this day. Thank you for listening, and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings to you all in the name of the Lord. Bye for now.